kind of medic marines and lack of tanks, that Hoja is going to be caught off guard. And, and I'm very, very curious as to what he plans to do with these rates. If they're only to be used against the... Um, Oh! Stop lurkers! Stop lurkers! Stop lurkers! Oh! Oh! Right on Fantasy! Right on Fantasy! And Fantasy doesn't lose nearly as many um, <laughs> Medic Marines as I thought he was, but a decent amount going down. Beautiful placement by Hojo. Wow! That was awesome, man. I cannot believe that was that was just fantastic foresight to say, hey, the stop lurkers should go right here because this is where the Medic Marines are going to stop on top of me. And he called it perfectly. Now, I, I'd like to mention that those Muta are still out on the field. They're still delaying so he can get his Defiler attack. And look at this. There are Scourge. He is anticipating completely to see Science Tussles in the next couple of seconds. And he's probably getting confused at this point as to why he's not seeing them. And I would be too because it's fairly late game. You're playing against Fantasy, a, a dual su silver medalist, who quite clearly is capable of following a build order, um, not getting harassed all that much, being fairly semi-aggressive. I mean, he's not really pushing out hard uh, he hasn't gotten near your third gas so why doesn't he have size versus out yet I mean we're at the 11 minute mark in this game thank you pro league for putting that timer up the top left that's awesome by the way I mean that helps with learning timing so much I mean it's like hey wow she well yeah I'd say she's kind of cute and they're really focusing on it for some reason at the same time I, I haven't seen the filers quite yet I know there's a hive up um, and I thought I saw a Defiler a while ago, but I haven't yet. In the meantime, Fantasy is three star ports up at this point. Well, oh my gosh! What is with the three control towers? I'm guessing he's going into uh, Super Science Festival after this. But what's he going to do with these rates? He's got like eight of them. Something around there. I need more coffee. This is the Defiler map. I put milk and sugar. I prefer cream and sugar, but I don't have cream, so I have to use milk. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty close, but you can tell the difference for sure. Anyway, they're the race. Oh, they're going in. They don't have cloak, though. They're just, they're literally just unupgraded race. And oh, oh, Hojo, what are you doing, man? He's, oh, he noticed the race, and then he ran right into the units. Oh, nicely done by Fantasy. He, he basically was... Uh, you know, anticipate, I don't know if he anticipated that or not, but he just had great positioning on uh, returning troops. And nice Wraith micro. It's arguable that Wraiths are easier to micro than most other air units, but I disagree just because they're so weak. Um, and that may not actually be the, the consensus of most players. That was just something I've heard lately that I, I disagree with it. Oh, man. Digging out all those Muta. And look at this late, I love this, late game Wraith harass. And there's just no Hydras out on the field to deal with this. Two coming out now. He doesn't have Cloak yet, which is hilarious in my opinion that he's he's got the balls to go through a Wraith harass without it. A lot of Lurkers out on the field at this point. I gotta say, not that many Medic Marines, but man, look how many drones are going down. And, and Overlords as well. There are only a couple of drones at this point. Oh, and he's using it to take down Lurkers too. That is fantastic play. I mean, that's beautiful. Instead of just picking off drones, he is going after the Lurkers. He knows that he only has Medic Marines out on the field right now. He's got to be careful. He's watching it. Oh, and, and here we go. See, this is what I was talking about. This map gives you so many different paths to get to someone's base. But, but, he's seen it, and he's got a tank. He's got a tank and a beautiful surround. And that's the exact place I was talking about putting the Lurkers because you can push in to the side of the natural expansion. And, man... Fantasy actually in a little bit of trouble, but no, Hoja pulls back. I thought that Hoja was in a great position there. And now um, Scourge trying to take out those race and dropships. He's not making size vessels at all. He's relying completely on two scans. That's it, just two scans to win this game against Lurker play. That is balls, man. Balls. I am impressed by Fantasy's balls. <laughs> Very nice balls. Anyway. Um, it looks like at this point, Fantasy has really brought himself up quite a, quite a little uh, advantage here as he continues to take out drones, he continues to disrupt the mining, and now dropship play instead of science vessels. I love this. I love this. I cannot tell you how much I love this. This is fantastic. The fact that he's going unorthodox to avoid science vessels completely against lurkers. Oh, we just lost a ton of medic marines though. But at the same time, look, he's taking out drones left and right. He is really damaging the economy of Hoja, and his has been uncontested this entire match. Um, and now, uh, the only thing I'm worried about is he's, he could very well run out of scan. He's only got two scanners. He's been using them intermittently. Um, now he's attacking the buildings. He's going to take out the Hydralis Den, 
And oh, I wonder if he got upgrades in that. That would be uh, that would be awesome for him. I mean, purely. Now, now take out that Hydralis Den. No, he goes after the upgrades instead. Now attacking the units. I'm surprised he didn't go after the Hydralis Den. That would have been key, in my opinion. But you know what? Not so much now that I think about it, because there's a higher chance probability that those evolution chambers were going for upgrades, and that was something that was going to affect him more than. And there's the defiler, by the way, more than taking down that Hydralis Den in most in most cases, because those Hydralis Den upgrades are long since upgraded. Rebuilding the Hydralis Den is only going to take him about 20 seconds, so maybe 30, whatever whatever the timing that is. Tanks coming out, by the way, for fantasy at this time. And, and really, it was much bigger of a benefit to take out mid-upgrade upgrades, maybe even the end of the upgrades. I, I wish they got a, uh, maybe they did click on a Hydra at the time. Uh, but as soon as they do, I'll tell you what the upgrades are. Only plus one Carapace. He had to be mid-upgrade. So brilliant decision by Fantasy. Now we're starting to see Science Vessels. This is awesome. He has put uh, Hoja at such a disadvantage. However, Hoja is on his fourth base now. So he's almost been playing like he's been unharassed. The bottom right's been unharassed this entire time. His main base has been unharassed. So really only one harassed economy. He's most certainly still in this game. But Hoja is now getting this, uh, attacked on his bottom right right base and can't get up the ramp. Looks like Lurkers are trying to push up. He's focusing on the on the hatchery though. The hatchery could go down. Oh, he's got, oh, he takes down the hatchery. Hoja loses the hatchery. That sucks. Um, Scourge play a little off right now. He had Scourge right there. Just doesn't take out the science vessel for some reason. Uh, he is gonna clean up this force. He's got, uh, I do like Hydra Lurker play. It's a lot of fun to watch too, by the way rather than just Hydra Link. Now going after those Science Vessels, but uh, those Science Vessels, I would imagine, should get back to something that can attack them, and he does. Oh man, in the nick of time. Beautifully done. And uh, now Hoja, again, just cleaning things up, but at the same time, Fantasy continuing to take out units here. Um, very, very nicely, very effectively stopping. Now he has stopped two bases from mining so far throughout this game. Hoja still, he's now he's mining on three. A and if you think about it, Hoja's always been mining on at least three bases. At least two and a half even, because I don't know how, how the saturation was at the bottom right when he lost his uh, his natural uh, expansion to race, but, uh, well, his drones at the natural expansion. However, I would still say that he must be a little bit behind. He's now going up against three base Terrans. So at this point, he certainly is falling behind. Um, although, he wasn't behind for a while. So, uh, I guess, oh, nice. Finally taking out a dropship there. I guess my point is, Hoach is not out of this game, but he's definitely behind at this point. And he's got to be a little bit more careful. He's got to get that base back up. He needs that third gas. Um, I don't think his, his new base has uh, any gas. I think it's literally a uh, mineral only expansion i will correct myself if that's not the case beautiful plague pig Ooh! awesome right over all those medic marines and now uh what is he doing he's going in but he's got no links he's got dark swarm but he's got two links but uh, two links are enough to take out um <laughs> plagued marines two links are enough to take out. did i say that right i told you it's early um, another command center going down right behind the mineral line. He's probably going to float that to the top left. Two factories out at this point. He's going to bump up his tank production. I do like that. Um, especially against Hydra. I mean, really, you need a lot more tanks. Medic Marines are more effective than Hydras per se, but Hydras do a lot of damage. They can take out a lot of Medic Marines with a good surround, especially paired with Lurkers. So he needs to make sure that he's got tanks with them. Plus two, plus two upgrades, plus zero, plus one carapace for Hoja. That... Evo chamber, double evolu uh, devil blah, 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 double evolution chamber takedown is now haunting him. He is behind on upgrades. Fantasy is is definitely going to start just popping hydras left and right, and there's not going to be much that those Macy Day Parade balloon hydras can do about it. I do think that they look like hot air balloons when they pop, then when they explode to getting destroyed. Watch, watch that hydra's going to pop, pop. Oh, beautiful! I love it. Anyway. It looks like, um, see again, multiple paths to get to every base in this in this uh, map. And, oh, very nicely done, taking out a uh, science vessel that was greedily hunting, hunting for a defiler. Not quite gonna get it though. Fantasy's gotta be a little bit more careful than that. He does not have this game wrapped up quite yet. Now floating is the command center for his base at the top left for four total bases. Fantasy looking very confident though, I gotta say. Need some more coffee. Uh, my coffee's at the point where it starts getting cool quicker and quicker and quicker, and I hate cold coffee. I really do. So I gotta start drinking it more. Hope you guys don't mind. There are a lot of tanks out on the field now, by the way, and and I like it. That is a hard, hard counter to Mass Hydra. Even in Swarm, tanks...